really proud of you. Thank you, sir. How's a gutsy performance out there tonight? You took us to a national championship, but nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth, I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, baby, we going to the chip. Whew. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! Ha <laughs> <laughs> M. Looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this hat. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? <laughs> okay. Hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh, off the board, huh? Yeah. Well, Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well. Hmm. Well, these are both. Well, I've picked oh, both of these. Let me see what happens if I wait. Just not off the I'm board for a reason. Pink. No question. Definitely pink. <laughs> pink, no question. <laughs> no, look. You see, look, you don't you don't pick from the option. I did not right, the game is in the name. Off the board. Now it's clicking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches his horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, Onyx? <laughs> okay. I told you, she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but... Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course. Anything. You wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns? <laughs> oh. <laughs> is, is that okay? Uh, well, four touchdowns is a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. But I'll see what I can do. Yes. Don't don't worry. He'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Without a doubt, this should be easy. It's good to see you again. Like really easy. It's nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> We're days away from the national championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind: Can lightning strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Nah, not, not at all. Is it? No, no, not that's no. it. But hold on. I don't think he has to be. And this, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at the table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent. But they're going to need this dude to make plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real. He's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. He wins this game, he punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and psh, we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you say to a kid that has so much to lose on that field? Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Are you sure, coach? <sighs> you know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. And it's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you gotta take a step back, all right? You gotta breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, 
take in the crowd. Man, you do that, and, and everything gets real quiet. All right? So breathe. Take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. Yeah. Thanks. Good on. Yeah. Yeah. Be champion tonight here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara for the college football playoff national championship game. As we'll see the Oregon Ducks taking on the Clemson Tigers. Here we go, the matchup we've all been waiting for. Number one versus number two, and off we go in the college football playoff national championship in Santa Clara. And he'll make it across the 20, as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Oregon. Oh, that's weird. I never expected to see Ori. I'm gonna start off with a option play. Ooh. With one game of college experience now in his pocket, this young quarterback leads the Tigers up first and ten. Ah, I didn't hit it off. I held A, but it didn't hit it off. That's so stupid. Actually, yeah, many times. Run him on a slant. We can scramble. How does it translate here? Well, it certainly helps his mindset because he has to have a yeah. lot of confidence going into this one since he did it so well. That's a dot, brother. I do think we'll see a Come on now. Find for him to take Come on now. They got to know better. You have to when you've got a weapon like now, we do have to throw. We have to throw what? But four touchdowns? I don't like him on crossing routes because it's not a big enough. Uh, Hmm? People weren't sure where like, he was going to go. Strong so many enough. Right. Offers wound up here, and it hasn't been the script. He, and he can't yeah. find a receiver, and he's brought down. I don't like play action passes. I don't know why. I just can't get them off. I accidentally. What did I do? Oh, I accidentally spiked. I accidentally hit spike. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. What? Kind of. Boy, if you don't, I accidentally spiked it. Could have called a timeout, but didn't want to waste the timeout. I didn't want to have to use this play this early. But since y'all want to keep playing with me, that safety don't back up. I'm throwing it. Oh, I was throing it anyway. But it was inaccurate, bro. Come on. All right, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go. But I don't. Think my guy is not doing well in the pressure. We're gonna throw the shorter one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Let's go. Accurate throw. That's that shit, Teddy. Get in there, boy. Let's go, Isaiah. Win this. Win this. Let's go. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but that just past the 30 yard line. Defense. Could not hold them. Not even lightly. The they just went all over the defense. Um, so we're going to have to do something. <laughs> what is this dude? How does he do this? I'm, I'm, I'm upset right now. I don't know how he does this. He just catches everything. Because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Now throwing on first down and completing it. Let's go. Easy yardage. Dude, it's so easy. Like, well, I know college is supposed to be easy. Because, I mean, we're like really good. But, like, jeez, man. It's a cheat code. You have Isaiah Street. As long as he really doesn't get pressed off the line, it's an automatic completion. It's off. Terrible throw. Terrible throw. Out of bounds. I mean, you still caught it. <laughs> it's just crazy, dude. I understand this, dude. And I could scramble for 19 yards. It's tidy, but I really need to get these passes. 
That was on me. That was on me. All right. Well, you know what I gotta do. It's third down. I never said. I never said I was good at man. Huh? I did say. I did say that I can get. I can get it done. I can get it done. I mean, it's a, this is really short. We're really too short to run this play, but not enough yards. He picked it off. God, that was an awful throw. Buddy, you gotta throw better. But no doubt, a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drive. They had three. Now, uh, defense is having issues. Their offense is really freaking good. Uh, so we cannot have any more bad plays. Let's go. That's Teddy. You cannot catch him, brother. Juki! <laughs> Let's get the Teddy. Put points on the board. Let's go. So now two touchdown passes thrown, and we... But the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. I'm gonna try to score quick. So I'm gonna run my. I'm gonna run the flood post play because I want to try to get four touchdowns before half. And they are. They have all three of their timeouts, and they're gonna throw deep passes if they want to score. So if I can score fast, I can probably do that. Study. No, it's not. He dropped it. Are you kidding me, Isaiah? You gotta catch that. Come on, Isaiah. That was a deep pass. Holy. Holy. Oh, come on, Isaiah. Yo, their offense is really freaking good. It's starting to scare me. I've played against Oklahoma. I've played against LSU. I've played against all these other teams. But I have to state that this is the best offense. Ever. He should have picked that off. Like, going for it, but, I mean, it's just awful. We're gonna go. We're gonna just drop back, and throw it. Hopefully, we get it this time. Come on! Oh! Well, defense got the ball right back for me, so it doesn't even matter. I pick or that that could never happen. We're just gonna toss it up the streets. Like we always do. It's another pick. Oh my god. Dude, they gotta stop. Let's, this is gonna be We're not gonna score. At this point, it's just get passing yards. Unless he breaks free, then he's not gonna score. But. He caught that? But you couldn't catch the earlier ones. I. You. Gotta be kidding. Alright, well, I'll be right back. We are tied in the national championship game. Now we take a glance. Gotta run the short post route because the long one was getting clamped up and I was starting to get upset. Got him up. Oh, that was a god awful pass, brother. You've got to throw better. I'm gonna run the deep one because I need to get these points. That was a horrible pass. What was that? Like, what was the penalty? Please not holding. Ace man. Can you even? I think Someone's it. gonna take a shot and give this guy a look. A several feet of quarterback, you think about the Cardinals, though they're gonna be picking number one, but Giants figure to be in the market, Broncos, Bengals, possibly the Raiders, so Oh sweet Lord Jesus, this is annoying. I don't know if I don't know if I'm just the only one that has had terrible luck with QBs, cause like every time I do this, my QB throws awful in this game. He throws perfect in the first game. Awful the second game. 
It's gotta be just pressure or something. I don't know. It's, it's just, it gets on my nerves. That's what I do know. Is that it's annoying. Oh my god. Bro, complete your passes. Can't he can't do anything if you don't complete your passes. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times. Tried to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. There we go. Our first down. I don't know if I ran this play earlier, but just came back from being downstairs. What? Let's go, oh, come on. It's a third teddy. We gotta capitalize, because we've been, been able to hold him in a while, and this is the first time. I think this game, they were able to hold him. Jeez. Get in there. Let's go. Get in there. That was dangerous. That was very dangerous. Well, uh, defense could not stop the running back again. So we're going to try to score quick. Uh, this is kind of dangerous. I don't like this play anymore. Well, I like it though. But like, do a pick on it. Oh my god. I just stop. I just stop. Somebody. Oh, uh, we got to think of some other boys to run. Um, double dig? But find a way to relax. Let your talents come out. Because this is where we're going to find out. I mean, streets could still get open. This is a weird play. Route. My other receivers can't catch the ball. So, like, there's almost no point. I know at times people are going to be able to throw guys open and it's like stop this angle. We got to run it. I mean, if, it, if he's not open, for some reason, everyone just doesn't want to do anything. And then I can't throw the ball right. That's a dot. Come on. You can't do this to me. You cannot do this to me. The defense did their job. Cannot do this. Quarter, big stand. No doubt about it because the offense cannot yeah, do this to me. That would have been a touch. Simple as that. I'd have got my fourth and we touch. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball, come on, they get the free tie game, they're not behind. Now they go for it. Right. Let me go ahead and study real quick. I got a field goal, so. I got to get a teddy. It's a dot. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. There you go, Charles. Apparently, all she had to do was ask. How about that? His fourth touchdown pass in this championship game. Give her credit for asking. Give him credit for living up. Here's first and goal, Clemson. Looking to throw. And he will score. Touchdown, Clemson. From eight yards out. And Clemson tacks on to their lead. One more extra point attempt for good measure. And that trip to the end zone, I think that's the dagger. Handshakes all around now. Everybody looking at each other and starting to celebrate a big victory. So how about this? Behind a quarterback who had never taken a snap in an NCAA football game until nine days ago, for the second time in three years, the Clemson Tigers are national champions. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the podium at midfield for the presentation of the College Football Playoff National Championship Trophy as we present your College Football National Champions, the Clemson Tigers. Jack Ford, talk about a long shot.
And as a man who's known as the quarterback whisperer, and I suggest you trademark that, by the way, um, how are you feeling about your quarterback right now? I tell you, this kid's amazing. He worked around the clock to prepare for this game. I never seen anything like it. And I am so proud of what he's done and under this kind of pressure. Hope all you NFL scouts out there are paying attention. Is this kid special? Come on, Mike. You deserve it, son. Congratulations. Coach, this is you. This is great. Thank you. A perfect end to a too short season. You're leaving here a champion. I, 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 it's better than I ever thought it would feel. <laughs> I can't even describe it, really. It's just to be up on this stage, celebrating with these guys. It, it's perfect. It's just perfect. It's a perfect end, but it seems like you put up a pretty good case that it shouldn't be today. How do you feel about that? I, hey, I, I think I gave myself a shot. If the NFL comes calling, I'll pick up the phone. But this guy over here, this guy, the trophy man. Absolutely. Isaiah Streets, we are all aware of the loss of your brother and what it took to be here today. But can you tell us, in this moment, how you're feeling right now? It's a lot, lots of feelings, Taylor. Uh, I made a promise to my brother that I was gonna... <laughs> you know, none of this... None of this would have been possible without this man right here. This dude came into an impossible situation. He's got heart. I love you, man. Hey, I love you, man. <sighs> Zeke! This was for you, baby! Yeah! This was for you! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! A lot of emotions out on the field tonight. This is what football is all about. It's about getting hit and getting back up. And as you can see in a season that was characterized by overcoming, these guys did just that and won a national championship. Back to you guys. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.